This video will present you the dismounting and fitting operations of disc brake pads on a truck. Here are the generic tools you will need to operate a successful fitting operation safely. Your kit is composed of four brake pads and a kit of accessories. Park the vehicle on a flat surface and always chock the wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. The engine should be shut off. Jack up the axle. Be careful with the brake disc temperature to avoid injuries. It should be between minus 10 degrees Celsius and 50 degrees Celsius. Remove spring clip and washer. Depress the pad retainer and remove the pin as well as the metal retainer. Pull off the adjuster cap using the tab, taking care not to lose the shear adapter. Never turn the adjuster without the shear adapter. Fully wind back the tappet and boot assemblies by rotating the adjuster via the shear adapter. Remove the brake pads according to this following removal procedure. Pull caliper towards the outboard side. Remove outer brake pad. Push caliper to the inboard side. Remove inboard brake pad. Push and pull caliper three times in axial direction to assess any existing air gap. Check that the disc can move easily. Check the wear of the disc for grooves and cracks. Clean the disc and remove any light corrosion using fine grade emery cloth or a similar abrasive. Clean the brake pad bay area with suitable tools such as wire brush in order to remove dust. Complete the cleaning with a brake clean spray. The rubber booth and rubber seals on the tappets must not show any signs of damages. Before inserting the new brake pads, Fully wind back the tappet and boot assemblies by rotating the shear adapter in an anti-clockwise direction. Clip the spring on each pad. Insert the two new brake pads as follows. The geometry of the brake pads requires the following fitting procedure. Slide caliper inboard and insert inner brake pad. Slide caliper outboard and insert outer brake pad. Wind out the adjuster with shear adapter until the brake pads come into contact with the disc. 
Turn back the adjuster three clicks and check the running clearance. After fitting the pad retainer, insert the pad retainer pin. Fit new washer and then new spring clip to the pad retainer pin. While the caliper is able to readjust, it is mandatory to proceed to a manual initial setting after fitting the new brake pads. The tab of the adjuster cap should be positioned as shown. Refit the wheel with an impact wrench to tighten the lug nuts. Carry out a final tightening with a torque wrench, according to the torque instructions of the vehicle manufacturer. Here, the torque is 700 Newton meters. Take the vehicle off the ramp. Download our brake pad fault assessment on valeoservice.com. <laughs>